لقد أرسلنا من قبلك في شيع الأولين which means and we had certainly sent before you among the sects of the former peoples ولقد أرسلنا that means we had certainly sent أرسلنا what? messengers of course Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala أرسل and ولقد the way the verse starts with ولقد and well and لقد is, the, is something that gives so much uh, confirming the, what is being mentioned in that statement. That means indeed, no doubt, it's like swearing by Allah that this is the fact. And it's even stronger than saying qad. You add the lamb there to it, it's more stronger. So, walaqad indeed, no doubt whatsoever. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, arsalna, we sent. And this is the royal we again. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent. And uh, arsalna, and you have the, the rusul, ar rasul, it's the same word. That means arsalna, we sent messengers. And messengers meaning the ones that have been sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ar rasul, he does not come from his own self. He's been sent. Sent by who? By Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore, those who disbelieve in the messengers, they disbelieve in the one that sent them because he's the one that sent them. And human beings, they act accordingly. If a king or so or a president, he sent uh, an ambassador or a messenger to someone else and that place or that country or that president of the other country reject that messenger or kill the messenger, for example, he's declaring war against the, the other country. And the, and the president would not see that this is, uh, you know, just a messenger has nothing to do with me. He would consider that as if it's attack to his own self because disbelieving in the messenger, disbelieved, also in the one that sent him. Dishonoring the messenger is dishonoring the one that sent him and so on. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, He's the one that sent the messengers. So therefore, to believe in the messengers of Allah, because some people, they have this issue, disbelievers, they have this issue against believing in messengers, like the agnostics and so on. They will believe there's a, a power that created everything, but when it comes to religion and messengers and so on, because they, you know, people want to follow their desires, but the belief in the messengers is by necessity. And this is the, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made as a reality on the face of earth. Right? What's on the face of earth in the life of the people that is there for them to have this communication and this message to be conveyed to them of their purpose of life. Because this life or this universe is not created for nothing. So the fact of the matter is there are messengers that they, were, they have been sent and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allowed them. And if someone would uh, you lie about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the matter will be exposed. So, وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ We send from before you, مِنْ قَبْلِكَ Before the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, فِي شِيَعِ الْأَوَّلِينَ فِي شِيَعِ الْأَوَّلِينَ A Shia is sects, right? And that's what the word Shia. But it's, uh, it refers to those who are upon one thing and they have that thing in common to one another and they would um, have that loyalty to one another. And that's what sects are. You know, the sects, when there's a sect or a group of people, they share something common among themselves, a belief, whether it's a, a true belief or a false belief. And uh, they would have this loyalty towards one another because of this. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent fi shia al awalin in the sects, groups of people, al awalin from the, of the former peoples, the early generations, the early nations. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not leave humanity like this astray. But from Adam alayhi salam and then Nuh and the prophets of Allah and the messengers of Allah, وَإِمِّنْ أُمَّةٍ إِلَّا خَلَى فِيهَا نَذِيرٍ As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, there is no nation that was deprived or empty from messengers or warners. The warners have been sent to every nation. But the people, they distort the message and things like this. This is something else. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send another messenger and so on. So this is indeed a matter of, this is a matter of fact. And as you see, subhanAllah, this is another thing to establish that truth. It's not been sent in one place and not the other for someone to say that this person invented it. You know, one person was sent or this person might be claiming something. But it's many nations and many tribes. There's no nation unless there's a messenger is being sent. You know, they're not living in the same time. the different places, different uh, times of age. And this is all by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.